we'll go back to earnings and Arvind Limited is in focus. Puneet Lalbhai, Vice Chairman and Executive Director at Arvind is joining us now to talk more about earnings. Uh, Puneet, uh, afternoon, uh, in fact morning, uh, thank you so much for your time. This quarter we saw lower realization overall weighed on your revenues. Higher volumes coupled with lower raw material costs led to profitability, but top line growth was a bit on the lower side. Talk to us about uh, by when can we see, you know, confidently going forward, how demand will come back. So I think we grew in volume terms in almost all of our segments except denim. Uh, in denim, Q3 is as such a, a seasonally bad quarter. It's always a low quarter. Um, so I, I think everywhere we've, sh we've shown as guided before a volume improvement. Um, as you rightly said, the revenue has been muted because of raw material prices declining. Uh, I think more significantly, we've also shown margin improvement, and that's because of better efficiency, better product mix, uh, and a lot of hard work at our end. Right. Uh, morning, um, Mr. Lalbhai, given that cotton prices seem to have stabilized on the lower side, does that mean that your margins could expand? Any kind of guidance that you can share? So over the medium term, definitely we feel that there is a lot more work to do to get a few hundred, couple of hundred basis points of, of margin improvement. In the short term, however, I think because cotton has reached its, uh, its minimum support price, in fact, currently, uh, we don't see a lot of margin expansion now possible uh, because of further raw material price decrease. In fact, even the in previous quarters, the margin improvement has come not because of only raw material price improvements, but also because of a lot of operate, operating efficiencies being built in the business. Right. And owing to Red Sea issue, we all know that freight rates as well have shot up. Have you been able to pass it on? Any impact on your books? And also, are you facing delays at large? We did face some delays, not very significant in quarter three, but quarter four onwards, we don't expect to face too much more because the market has now had time to adjust and uh, incorporate all the longer lead times and higher costs uh, in their planning cycle. Uh, thankfully, a lot of our business is FOB business. So the freight is the customer's responsibility. There is a small amount of business which where we are responsible for freight. And yes, there uh, the higher prices will impact us. But for the large majority of the business, uh, we are on FOB terms generally. Okay, so why don't you tell us about the order book situation right now and also how much is it coming from the EMD segment? AMD for us has, is, is a very strategic business where we are investing. It's a business where we've been showing very good growth and margin expansion for the last uh, couple of years. And we are going to put in every effort to ensure that we continue to grow at this 20% for the medium term as well. So all efforts are on for that. And we expect uh, this kind of growth to continue in the future as well. Puneet, for your garment segment, what is the kind of volume growth which we can see in Q4 and uh, how are your capacity utilization spanning? So garments is another very strategic segment for us where we've decided that we would like to expand. Um, we are a very large fabric uh, uh, player um, and our strategy now is to convert more and more of our fabric into garments ourselves. So we are going from a very low level of vertical integration to a slightly higher level of verti vertical integration. And therefore, we are going to grow the garment capacities. We are investing in, in those capacities as we speak. And as guided earlier, we should see a quarter-on-quarter -quarter improvement in the volume of, of garments. Uh, and we expect Q4 to be slightly better than Q3. So on a sequential uh, basis, your net debt has been higher. Will it come down at the end of FY24? So now we feel that our debt is very comfortable. Um, we have really worked for the last two years to 
sort of reduce our overall debt. So our focus now will be on growth in the company. We are bringing down long-term debt. So long-term debt even went down this quarter. And we hope to end the year closer to 400 crores of long-term debt, um, which would be uh, a higher than 200 crore reduction during the financial year. Um, as business is now growing, and as we are adding newer segments, our working capital debt is the debt that has gone up. And uh, we, don't be, we will not be too obsessed about bringing overall net debt uh, down. We, but our position is that we want to have as little long-term debt um, as, as possible. So we are focused on that and we are um, on target to achieve uh, what we had set out at the beginning of the year. Right. Okay. Great to have you then on the show. Thanks for highlighting, uh, Puneet, what the commentary has been or rather how the uh, you know, quarter gone by has been and what really is the future visibility.